hey guys welcome back to my channel my name is adora i am a nigerian youtuber but i live in chicago illinois today on this channel i'm going to share with you my chicken pepper soup recipe please continue watching so to prepare this pepper soup we'll be needing some chicken i have some hard chicken here you can make use of any one either soft or hard but hard chicken tastes much better here i have some onions some ginger and two habanero peppers you can add more or less when it comes to pepper here i also have my calabash nutmeg which is called ehuru or ehu i also have some seasoning cubes i also have beni chicken seasoning which is optional here i have some thyme I have some rosemary leaves, I have salt, I have some vegetables, you can make use of scent leaf known as nchuao or otazi leaf, just a little quantity of it and I also have my pepper soup mix. I start with making my marinade for the chicken so what I do is to blend most of my ingredients together so here I added my habanero peppers my ginger onions I also added some thyme rosemary and seasoning cubes I poured little quantity of water and I blended everything together So after blending everything together, transfer it back into the chicken and mix everything together. So my main reason for doing this is just to create a base for me to steam my chicken first before I add additional water that will serve as pepper soup. Okay. So the reason for doing it is just to allow the chicken to absorb the flavors from all the ingredients I blended together before adding too much water you know once you add too much water it is going to neutralize the taste so I want the chicken to first of all absorb all the nutrients and all the flavors from the spices before I add additional water to it Cover it and let it cook for about 15 minutes on its marinade. So while we are waiting for the chicken, I went ahead to grind my ehuru seed, that is my calabash nutmeg. I also went ahead to cut my vegetable into big chunks. I don't want it to be very tiny because once you add it into the soup, it is going to wilt and become very, very small and you can't even see it anymore. So that's why I like to have it in big chunks in the first place. now this was after about 15 minutes of cooking the chicken in its marinade see how beautiful it is so just stir everything together if you see how everywhere was smelling at this moment like the aroma was so so wonderful <laughs> so just stir everything together at this time then add water add as much water as you want to be in the pepper soup there is no limit okay that's why it is called pepper soup just add as much water as you want to be in the pepper soup after adding the water then 
test and add any spice as desired this is the time for you to add anything you want to be in this pepper soup you can add extra seasoning you can add extra pepper you can add extra salt anything at all apart from the vegetable just go ahead and add it so i added my chicken seasoning which is my bendy chicken seasoning i also added my ground ehu seed so i stirred everything together and i tested it and i felt it needed something else so i went ahead to add my pepper soup mix but please before you add this pepper soup mix read the ingredients okay if you are pregnant i don't think you should be eating older some studies have shown that older could cause miscarriage especially in the first trimester of pregnancy could okay could in quotes so it is not um like it doesn't happen to me i eat older even if i'm pregnant but please just make sure check with your doctor or just just be cautious okay before eating older if you are pregnant so stir everything together and if you notice i did not add crayfish okay it's it's intentional okay i didn't forget i just don't like adding crayfish but you can add crayfish if you want so now everything is perfect i just covered it and just let it simmer for about five more minutes after five minutes add in your vegetable and please before you add in the vegetable just turn off your heat okay just turn off your heat and then throw in the vegetables mix everything together and the heat the steam is going to cook the vegetable just a little amount of heat is enough to cook that vegetable and that is it our pepper soup is ready you can serve it with white rice with boiled plantains with yam or just enjoy it alone with a bottle of chilled malt or smoothie <laughs> thank you so much for watching this video and please subscribe to my channel and give this video a huge thumbs up and i will see you in my next one thank you so much and have a nice day bye